There's no school, quite like old school. Hello my friends, and welcome to Tom's Tankery and Adventures. Today we're coming at you from the Antique Gas and Steam Engine Museum in Carlsbad, California. Just north of San Diego. Now, um, I knew this place existed for quite a while, but I'd never been here. And uh, today, presented the opportunity to show up here. So we're gonna walk around a little bit and uh, show you a little bit about what they have going on here. They have different exhibits depending on the time of year. Sometimes they do uh, steam engine exhibits or uh, blacksmithing. And, uh, I don't know exactly what they got going on today, but we're gonna find out. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, great day to look at some old equipment. Look at the size of the wheels on this thing. This is eye level here, <laughs> or my eye level. That's my, that's my reach right there. I'm on my tippy toes. The top of this thing. A nice assortment of old restored tractors here. My dad's watching, there's an International H. And we have a whole bunch of steam engines operating over here. Let's check them out. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> Just like being on the farm. These are hit and miss engines here. Nice little homemade lawn tractor. Hit or miss engines again going on here. Really cool. Some of these engines are small smoke rings. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it there. Woo! Great big Fairbanks Morse engine. What does it say here? 720 horsepower. Yikes! A big one. Lots of old equipment. Oh, there's some old cars down the road. This is a much larger place than I anticipated. Laundry was a lot harder back then. There we go, now we're talking. I'll take that any day. And then as you're walking around, you gotta kinda pay attention. Don't just be looking at what you see, you gotta look up. There's just neat stuff everywhere here. It is if you're into this sort of stuff. Awesome old International. Another furred. Stewed. Well, they definitely had some good styling then, huh? This is where golf carts go to die. Now I know where to get parts if I need them. Lots and lots of old iron. We're seeing one of these at the John Deere Museum in uh, Iowa. That 
That would still be a good little yard tractor. And my parents have a corn sheller just like that. Lots of history here. She's just idling, not making hardly a sound. The governor at the top right there, that spinning item. That's where you get to turn balls to the walls. Look it up if you don't believe me. International Harvester, Titan 1020. I remember seeing uh, pictures of these in old tractor magazines and uh, I think I even had one as a toy tractor as a child. This place goes on and on. A bunch of old stuff up there too. I think I've seen one of these before. A little four-wheel drive tractor. Really neat. Utility tractor, farm all A, very cool. So much stuff. There's the, there's the rope. Oh no. Slow, yeah, you pull the yeah. rope. You pull it. She gets she gets scared when I turn my motorcycle on. Well, Let's see, you wanna pull the rope? To... You can pull the rope, young lady. Slowly pull this rope. That's the uh, that's the rope for the whistle. But my friend's young lady doesn't want to do it. Here we go. <laughs> We've got a little machine shop going right here. Let's go. What else we got? Oh, we got a saw over here. Very cool. We got the large train here. Old school snow cat. I guess they still make these, right? It's pretty cool. And then there's a blacksmith station over here. And a whole field of like old stuff over there. It just looks like it's in the weeds. It looks like it could be on my parents' farm. Definitely feels like it could be my parents' farm right here. I gave up on the heavier hammer. I, I really haven't yeah. developed, I haven't really developed this one this way yet, but I can really swing. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm gonna swing this one nicely this way. And I do, dang it, yeah, I just use the clip. I like all this blacksmithing stuff. It's very, very interesting. It's a good way to lose a finger. It's the finger shop. Yeah. <laughs> and you can take some blacksmithing classes here, even. shafts across the top there to run this whole little machine shop. Just hook a belt on to whatever you need there. Run it down to your drill. I'm taking all your mill or a shaper or something over here. Another saw. There's a belt driven lathe. There's our machinery row knows what's going on with all this exactly. This is all stuff waiting to get cleaned up and put into exhibit. And up here, get a great big sawmill set up. This would be fun to see in operation. Lumber prices today, maybe you need to get one of these. Buy a track to land with some 
trees on it. Come here, Diggle. Choo, choo, choo. What is the nitrogen for? There you for go. This? Learn to drive a learn really? to drive a tractor for free. Spin like an input you can do shaft? that on a farm. Well, this is a pretty big place, and I didn't even get to see all of it. Um, we're about to close up. I you know they close a little bit early, but that's the way it is. We'll get here another time. I'm going to explore some more of this place, but if you ever get a chance up here in Carlsbad, come check it out. Or Vista, I mean to say. It's in Vista, California. All right. Well, if you like what I'm putting out, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.